Hello, Gem One. This is Pastor Hannah. 젊은 친구들 안녕하세요. 한나 전사님이에요. Welcome to Friday night service. Good to see all of you guys. I heard that some of you guys are on summer break, and some of you guys are starting your summer school now. Give me thumbs up if you started your summer school. Wow. Okay. Some of you guys did. Maybe some of you guys are waiting for summer school. Studying and learning about all of these things are very important. But learning about God is very, very important too. Today we're going to continue learning about Joseph, the dreamer. Make sure to bring your Bible with you. We're going to go over Book of Genesis, and I'll see you guys after praise time.
Welcome back from praise time. Whole praise was awesome. Let's open up our Bible to book of Genesis chapter 41. Now book of Genesis is the very first book in the Old Testament. It shouldn't be too hard to look for book of Genesis. We're going over chapter 41 and we're going to start from verse 41. So chapter 41 verse 41, okay? Genesis chapter 41, verse 41. And we're going to read 42, 43, 44. So verses 41 to 44. If you're ready, we'll read it together in one voice. Ready? Begin. And Pharaoh said to Joseph, See, I have set you over all the land of Egypt. Then Pharaoh took his signet ring from his hand and put it on Joseph's hand and clothed him in garments of linen and put a gold chain about his neck. And he made him ride in his second chariot and they called out before him, bow the knee, thus he sent him over all the land of Egypt. Moreover, Pharaoh said to Joseph, I am Pharaoh, and without your consent, no one shall lift up hand or foot in all the land of Egypt. Amen. So we've been going over the series, the story about Joseph, right? What do you guys remember about Joseph? Let's start from the beginning. Joseph has a father named Right, Jacob. And did Father Jacob love Joseph? Yes, he loved Joseph. And remember that made who jealous? His older brothers. And how many brothers did he have? Older brothers. He had 11 older brothers. And because Jacob loved Joseph so much, Jacob decided to get Joseph a special gift. And do you guys remember what the gift was? It was beautiful, colorful clothes. And that made his brothers jealous even more. And do you guys remember Joseph had dreams too? Two dreams, right? And when he, when Joseph shared his two dreams to his family members, their heart for Joseph, their hatred, grew even more and more. They decided to sell Joseph as a slave, the older brothers. And they lied to their father saying that wild animal came and ate up. And look at the blood, this is Joseph's. They lied. Now, where was Joseph? Egypt, land of Egypt. As what? Slave. Being a slave is not something that we want to be. Slave.
safe means you don't have your own will, you don't have a power, you don't have right to do anything that you want to do, right? So if your commander or if your owner tells you to do something, you have to do it. There's no but, there's no no. You just gotta do it. Even when you're hungry, even when you're sick, even when it's hot outside, you just gotta do it. Well, wherever Joseph went, God was with him. God was protecting Joseph. God was guiding him. And God was blessing Joseph and all the works that he did. Joseph was sold to this man by the name of Potiphar. Potiphar loved Joseph because everything that he did became full of abundance. It was full of blessings. So Potiphar allowed Joseph to take care of a lot of things in his house. Potiphar had a wife and this wife wanted to do something bad with Joseph. She tried to seduce him. But Joseph said, no, no, no. And he even ran away. And his wife, Potiphar's wife, got really upset and frustrated and, he, and she started screaming and she told lies to everybody. So Potiphar got angry and he ended up putting Joseph into jail. Did Joseph do anything wrong? No, he did everything right. Well, in the jail, Joseph met two people. These two people used to serve the king, the king of Egypt. His name is Pharaoh. One of them was a cupbearer, the other one was a baker. They both had dreams, but they didn't understand what their dream was all about. So Joseph heard their dreams. And Joseph helped them to explain, helped them to understand what their dream was all about. It wasn't that Joseph was super smart or super strong to understand their dream. Joseph was able to understand their dreams because God allowed Joseph to understand and to explain the dreams to them. And just like what Joseph said, everything happened. The cupbearer became Pharaoh's servant cupbearer again, but the baker was put to death. Joseph told the cupbearer, Hey, I know that dreams come from God. And like I said, it's going to happen just the way it is. And when you work for the king again, the Pharaoh, remember me. I'm not supposed to be in the prison. I didn't do anything wrong. So please remember me. Please help me. I need to get out of here. Two years passed by. Cupbearer still served the king, Pharaoh. But something happened. Pharaoh had a dream. And he had dreams that he didn't understand. He had two dreams. In his dream, he was near the Nile. He saw seven good-looking healthy cows. And then he also saw another seven but ugly and sick cows. The sick cows came near the healthy cows and they ate all of them. Well, Pharaoh woke up from his dream wondering what this was all about. And he went back to sleep again. Now, he had another dream. In his dream, he saw seven heads of grain in one stalk. So in one stalk, there were seven grain, healthy and good ones. And then there was another one. This one wasn't healthy. It was weak. It was almost about to die. Well, this one also had seven heads of grain. The unhealthy grain ate and swallowed.
swallow the healthy grain. Pharaoh woke up from his dream. He didn't understand what the dream was all about. So he called smart magicians, people all around the world, and he said, well, I had two dreams, and I don't understand what the dream is all about. I want you guys to tell me, explain it to me, because I need to know. No one couldn't tell him. No one could not interpret. No one could not explain what the dream was all about. And then at that moment, Cupbearer remembered Joseph. Remember, Joseph explained whose dream? The cupbearer. And it became true, right? The cupbearer said, Pharaoh, there was a man, young man, in the prison. When I was in the prison, he helped me to explain what my dream was all about. Well, maybe he's able to help you. And so Pharaoh called Joseph from the prison to come and to interpret Pharaoh's dream. Pharaoh said, Joseph, I heard from the cupbearer that you interpreted his dream. I want you to do the same, all right? And Joseph said, I cannot explain your dream. I don't have power to do that. But my God can help you and me to interpret your dream. And so hearing Pharaoh's dream, Joseph explained what his dream was all about. He said, the seven cows, healthy cows, and the seven unhealthy cows, it means in seven years for the good healthy cows, we're going to have abundant and blessing life on this earth. But after that seven years, there is going to be another seven years of famine, dry, curse. Same thing with grain. The seven heads of grain, the healthy one, represents blessings and abundance. And after the end of seven year mark, there's, a, there's going to be dry, famine, no rain, curse. Well, God is trying to speak to you through this dream. And during the seven years of healthy and good and abundant year, we can prepare for the other seven years, the famine. Hearing that, Pharaoh had an idea. He said, wow, Joseph, that sounds right. I want you to help me to take care of Egypt and my people and to gather as much food as we can to prepare for all the years. So the Pharaoh gave Joseph ring, necklace, robe, and he said, Joseph is going to be the commander. Whatever he says, you need to do. Whatever he tells you not to do, you need to stop immediately. You guys, this was part of God's plan. Joseph didn't give up. Joseph knew that God was with him. Joseph knew that God will allow him to explain and interpret the dream. You guys, just like Joseph, whether we are in hard times or good times, we gotta trust in God. We gotta hold on to Him because He will always lead us, guide us, protect us. Don't look at what's in front of you because God has a bigger plan for you and me. All right, you guys, at this time, we're going to put our hands together. We're going to close our eyes to pray. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for teaching us 
for allowing us to share the story of Joseph the Dreamer. Today we saw that Joseph explained the dream of Pharaoh's. And through that, Joseph was able to become the commander. It wasn't that Joseph was smart or strong. It was you who helped Joseph. We believe and we know that you are also with us wherever we go. So help us to have faith in you and help us to always cling to you. We love you and in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.